Hello, boys and girls. I am here staying at the Kremlin. This is Red Square. These are landmarks in Moscow, this country's capital. The Kremlin is a triangular fortified enclosure in the center of Moscow and is now the seat of this country's government. Where in the world is Mr. Malone? Let me give you some more hints. Where in the world is Mr. Malone? Well, let's take a look. We've got some hints here for you. I think I'm going to show you a flag. Here's a flag, what their flag looks like. Then we have, it's north of the equator and borders Arctic Ocean. It's the largest country in the world. This country, believe it or not, was a part of the former Soviet Union. Where in the world is Mr. Malone? Psst, write your answers in the passports today. Talk to your friends and your teachers and have a discussion about this country. Here's a map. Take a look at it. Take a good peek. Now I'm going to head off, catch a plane, and head to the next country, and I'll talk to you more tomorrow. Where in the world is Mr. Malone? country and I'm standing right here in front of Palacio Nacional. There's a series of murals. Notice the beautiful artwork. It reminds me of our own art extravaganza. It's one of the treasures of this particular building. These colorful paints depict the rich history of this native land and the actual president of this country. His office is right here behind me. I hope to see him later today. Now let's take a look at a few of clues to determine where in the world is Mr. Malone today. Well, here's a country. Here's the country's flag. Let's take a look. It's a little different than yesterday's flag. It's got a green and a red, and let's give you a couple of clues. The primary crops for this country are wheat and corn. The currency here that I've been using to buy all of my souvenirs for you is the peso. And this country is our friendly neighbor. Those are the clues. I'm going to be here a little longer and have some lunch, and then I'm headed on a plane to a new country. Talk to your teacher about this country and see if you can guess and write it in your passport. I'll see you tomorrow in a new country. In Where in the world is Mr. Malone? So long. <laughs>and girls I am here in a new country and what is happening right behind me these people have been dancing all day they're doing the what's been known as the farmers dance it's a traditional dance performed by farmers to assure a plentiful harvest but today in the country it can be performed for celebrations and I think they're doing this one just because I got here today they're celebrating the Fergrove celebration of the cultures today I guess is what it sounds like today their drain accompanies the dance, and the leader behind me is using a ribbon hat. He's known as the ribbon hat dancer, and he spins a long ribbon on his hat as he twirls. Notice the beautiful colors of our artwork. This is a fantastic country. Let me give you some clues so that you can see where I'm at today. Where in the world is Mr. Malone? Here's a look at their flag, and it's pretty noticeable flag when I arrive. This country includes some 3,000 islands. And this country is uh, kimchi, is the common side dish if you like kimchi. And taekwondo is the best known sport internationally. This country, talk to your teachers and your friends about this country and see if you can write it in your passport. Find the name to this country. Where in the world is Miss Malone? I've got to catch a plane. We'll see you tomorrow. Here's a map. Where in the world is Mr. Malone? <laughs>
I'm a little nervous just standing here talking to you. You watch my back for me. Let me know if anything sneaks up. This particular country shelters its wild animals in conserved national parks. It's outlawed. Hunting is outlawed. It was outlawed in 1977 in this country, but poachers continue to hunt some of these beautiful animals. Some of these artifacts are from the, million, the hundreds of, of uh, tribes that are inhabitants in this particular country. This particular item is a fly whisk, and I'm covered up like this because it's so hot. The sun is just beating down on me today. Where in the world is Mr. Malone? Let's take a look at a few clues today. Let's take a look. Here's the flag of the country I'm in. It's a very colorful flag. And there are more than 70 tribal groups. That's what it was, 70 tribal groups in the country. And the national motto, Harimbi, which is Swahili for let's work together. What a great motto. And Nairobi is the capital city of this country. Boys and girls, where do you think I am? Talk to your teachers and your friends. Write down the country in your passport. And here's a map. Do some more thinking. And I'll be back at my next country. Where in the world is Mr. Malone? Goodbye, boys and girls. <laughs> country. Take a look at behind me. These are Sphinx and a pyramid. I'm right here in this country. The Sphinx was a monster with a head and the body of a lion and the wings of a bird. This is an ancient, this has been here since 2500 BC. These are some old sculptures here in this desert of land. The great Sphinx of Giza is the one that we're looking at right here. And this country is famous for Egyptian Sphinx. Wow. Let's take a look at some clues. There's the flag for this country. Take a look at it. The country borders the Mediterranean and the Red Sea. Let's start over. Boys and girls, boy, it is hot in this country. Take a look behind me. We've got a couple of sphinx and a, a sphinx and a pyramid. The sphinx was a monster with the head, the body of a lion, and the wings of a bird. These these structures behind me date back to 2,500 BC, over 4,000 years old. The sphinx, this particular sphinx, is the Great Sphinx of Giza, near the pyramid that you see right back there. Now. This is a fantastic country. Let me see if I can give you a few clues so you can figure out where in the world is Mr. Malone today. Let's take a look at the flag. It's a very interesting flag I saw when I got off the plane. And this country borders the Mediterranean and Red Sea. It has the longest river in the world, and it flows north. And the capital city of this country is Cairo. Talk to your teacher, talk to your friends, and see if you can figure out where in the world am I today? Where in the world is Mr. Malone? Take a look at this map. Fill in your passport. See you tomorrow. Have you ever been to an opera? Well, I'm at this country. This country is famous for its operas. We're I'm talking kind of quietly because I don't want to interrupt the person that's singing right now. This this particular opera is uh, is from this country, and look at their faces of the uh, actors and actresses in this particular opera. Now let's take a look at a few of the clues that for this particular country that I'm in. Well, here's the country's flag. You can get it. 
Also, bicycles are the number one cause of traffic jams in the cities of this country. Ni hao is a popular phrase in this country, and the population is over 1 billion with 55 different ethnicities. That's this country. Let's take a look. Be out. There's a map. Talk to your friends. If you think you know where I'm at, write it down in your passport. Where in the world is Mr. Malone? Who knows? A new country every day. Now back to my opera. <laughs> Listen to the multiple sounds, the flora and the fauna in this place is incredible. I just caught myself a little piranha just this morning. This little thing has teeth and it's one of the native animals of this particular country. The vegetation is so lush and just the sounds of the, am the Amazon is just a beautiful sight and sounds to hear. Well, let's take a look. Where do you think I am today? I'm about ready to take a hike up to the top of this waterfall. Let's take a look at some of the clues for you today. Where in the world is Mr. Malone? Well, here's the flag of the country that I'm at today, and it's just been a fantastic day. It borders the Atlantic Ocean. It has a climate. The, it has the largest rainforest in the world right here where I'm standing, and the largest country in South America. It is the largest country, and they speak Portuguese, which is really difficult for me to, uh, to speak. It's been a fantastic trip. This is a great place. Talk to your teachers and your friends. Try to figure out where in the world is Mr. Malone and write in your passport. That's it for today. I've got to get back up to the top of the waterfall. I'm going for the animal, too. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm in a deed that keeps looking at the rock paintings from Queensland. This actually depicts an animal of some sort that's busy right underneath. This is a fantastic country. I'm way out in the outback here, and it's just been a fantastic day. The actual paintings behind me, the rock paintings, have been a part of the aboriginal culture for over 4,000 years. It's an amazing place to learn. I'm going to some while you look at clues. Take a look around the cave here and see if I see any more. We have the flag of this country, which you can recognize perhaps. And let's take a look at another clue. Mike. A Vegemite sandwich in this country. This is a continent and a country. And it's known as the land down under. Can you guess it? Well, talk to your teacher and your friends and write it in the passport. Here's a picture of the continent and the country that I'm in today, Queensland. That's it for Where in the World is Mr. Malone? I'm going to take another look with that rock painting and I'm going to look around for some more. See you later. Bye-bye.